Audio Jungle. Cool, calm, scenic. Luscious screen. Does that ring a bell? Hi. <laughs> Oh yes, well by that and by this image that you see me right behind me here, you should know it, but me, I go make my special guest today, tell me where we're there, <laughs> already. Before we get into that, now this is one of the most, it is one of the most beloved town in Jamaica, it's like everybody just love, love, love this place. It is one of Jamaica's most preferred cities. No wonder why it is this high, number six on our top tier list. But our co-host, um, they were supposed to be somewhere around here with them there. Oh, there they are over here. Over there, yep. Kim, Dr. Curious. Oh, we see you. We see you on, okay? <laughs> come on here, guys. Yes. Over. Yes, there. Let's Is go that, over here now. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go, go over here. That. Yeah. <laughs> Reach early, do it, daddy. That's my thing, my child. <laughs> come on over here, peeps. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> child. Yeah. Well, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Long time. It's been a while. Very good. <laughs> Welcome to Mandeville. Oh, yeah. 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 O
So, Dr. Q, uh, yes, I have um, read in my bio about you that you are <laughs> yes, a that's from certainly true, man. That's certainly true. But uh -huh. you, you have been living mm -hmm. in Mandeville for over two decades. <laughs> oh, right? oh, yes, child. <laughs> tell me about it. Well, certainly. I'll be happy to tell you about it. Well, I was born and raised in um, Northern St. Elizabeth, a place called New Market. <laughs> yes, and um, I was living there, you know, and um, I relocated to Clarendon, to Maypen Clarendon, in the mid 1990s, and then in the late 1990s I relocated to Mandeville. Yes, so um, that is how it was. Yeah, um, have been living in the city for you know quite you know quite those time. It is it's just been overwhelmed. I loved it. I love the ambience, the temperature. There's no other place like it in all of Jamaica. So I must say I'm. Um, happy and proud to be a true man oh wow i couldn't agree more with such a beautiful place like this we wouldn't want to relocate here and kim you were born here you are the only <laughs> one of your immediate family yeah, that's right, member of your immediate yes, family girl. actually born in Mandeville, oh, right? it's true Mandeville to the core oh, <laughs> oh yes indeed <laughs> so i get to understand that Mandeville has 23 official neighborhoods which one of these beautiful because all of them just look so Exotically beautiful. Which one of these beautiful <laughs> neighborhoods? Uh, yeah, we live, we, have, we, we lived in, in Bromelia. Ah, Bromelia. Yeah, that's our community. Okay, that's yes, that's pretty nice Bromelia. neighborhood yeah. indeed. And it's, well, how far is it Not too here? far from here. No, not yes. very far at all. <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah, just a stone's throw away. Yeah, I see. Away. Yeah. Okay, Doctor and Miss Kiris <laughs> from Bromelia. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Wonderful neighborhood indeed. So we will be going into the history of Mandeville. And Dr. Kyrus, being that you were here before both of us, are you calling me old now? <laughs> the Gen X <laughs> That's all right. the oh. Yes, yeah, so oh, you yes. know yeah. about the history of Mandeville. So I'm going to let you start out, start off uh, the proceeding hmm, with right. the history of Mandeville. Is that okay? Oh, yes. <laughs> all okay. right, let's get into it, guys. <laughs> so, Mandeville is located on a plateau in south central Jamaica in the parish of Manchester. Mandeville is regarded as one of the highest or the highest city of its kind in Jamaica. So it's so high, it's over 1,000 feet high above sea level, giving it its quite evergreen and cool temperature that we know it as today. Mandeville is located on the Mede Mountains, just like I mentioned before on a plateau. Mandeville is the only or largest city of its kind and or a parish capital of its kind that is not located on a coast or on a river. Mandeville has a town square, parish church and a clock tower and many large elegant early 19th century houses line the winding streets in the town center. In the suburbs of the town, many large houses have been built by returning residents from North America and the United Kingdom in particular. Developers have completed these large housing developments and some of which are considered as gated communities. And I remember, and um, as you can know, Mandeville is a town with some of the largest and most expensive houses in Jamaica. Some of these well upscale communities or suburbs surrounding Mandeville are areas like Ingleside, Battersea, Knock Patrick, Clover, Waltham, Bluefield, Caledonia Meadows, Brumelia, Newport, Spurtree. Kingsland, French Park, Swabies Hope, Lincoln, Greenvale, and Marshall Spin. Just some of them that we can name off. There's a lot of them, right? The city of Mandeville is a major commercial center and is a location for Northern Caribbean University NCU, or formerly West Indies College. It is a Seventh day Adventist institution of higher learning. Outside of Kingston, Mandeville is the only major commercial center with a main campus for a university. The city also has several more institutions of higher learning in which I'm sure Avake will tell you more about mm -hmm. when oh, you yes, get to the, that part of the program. Now into the history of Mandeville. The town was laid out in 1816 and named after Viscount Mandeville, the eldest son of the Duke of Manchester who was the then governor of Jamaica. Many of the original buildings can still be seen, such as the courthouse, mm -hmm. an impressive building of cut limestone and, horseshoe, and a horseshoe staircase, a raised portico supported by a Doric columns, 
and built in 1820. The staircase was added in about 1900. Many of Jamaica's oldest businesses were started in Mandeville. The Mandeville Hotel, one of the oldest in the Caribbean, began operation in 1875. The Golf Club, founded as the Manchester Golf Club in 1868, was the first golf in the Caribbean. The first free library in Jamaica was established in 1938 and is the oldest parish library. The growth of the city was given a substantial stimulus when the Alcon Bauxite Company, a joint, in a joint venture with the Jamaican government, opened its Kurt Vine Works nearby at Williamsfield in 1957. It built houses at Mandeville for its then mostly experienced staff. The relatively high wages lured many educational Jamaicans there. Subsequently, the town has seen an influx of Jamaican residents returning from abroad, mostly from the United Kingdom. So that's why today Mandeville is recognized as the English town of Jamaica due to the high English returnees from the United Kingdom that has been here since the mid-1900s. And that's the history of Mandeville for oh, you. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a rich history. <laughs> yeah, oh rich indeed. Oh my gosh, thank you, Dr. Curious, for sharing that rich history of Mandeville for uh, it us. It was my pleasure. Sure, <laughs> this city has a lot to offer. Oh, it's, yes. Its history is so rich. Wow, one of the richest I've seen so far. Thank you very much. And now, Kim. Yes. You're going to share with us about the shopping malls that can be found mm -hmm. here in Mandeville, and I'm sure mm -hmm. there's a lot. Really? You are easy. <laughs> <laughs> Bring us through it, my girl. <laughs> Oh All right, gosh. so here we go. So, Mandeville has many interesting shopping malls like the one we're at right now, the Manchester Shopping Center, as well as Mandeville Plaza, Caledonia Mall, Reliance Center, Romelia Town Center, Sovereign Center Mandeville, City Center Plaza, Wesley Plaza, Bankhouse Mall, Grove Court Shopping Center, the Villa, Sun Village Plaza, Juicy Plaza, Elite Mall, Nashville Subdivision, and Super Plus Center. And there is also the prestigious Mega Mart, which is we love. We love for Gunny. <laughs> Places of interest in Mandeville includes Little OG Mandeville, the Golf View Hotel, Mandeville Hotel, Mandeville, Manchester Golf Club, Rajmaville, Brooks Park, Mandeville Parish Church, Mega Mart, and the Cecil Charlton Park. Just a few of the many interesting spots located here in Mandeville. Oh, all right, I'm <laughs> curious. We saw you showcase some really, really interesting places and some great spots to shop here in Mandeville earlier on. So now we're going to go into the major infrastructure and thoroughfares that can be found here in Mandeville. For the major thoroughfares in Mandeville, you have the Royal Fat to Heart East Main Road, Caledonia Road, and Greenville Road, which are part of the A2 business route. And then we have New Green Road, Hargreaves Avenue, Romelia Road, Main Street, Park Crescent, Ward Avenue, Manchester Road, Perth Road, the Carteret Road, Villa Road, and South Racecourse Road. Manchester Road is the longest thoroughfare in Mandeville and Manchester, and one of the longest thoroughfares in Jamaica within a city limit. And then we have the Winston Jones Highway or the Mandeville Bypass and the Spurtree Main Road, which are part of the A2 route. Though not in its city limits, Highway 2000 is to provide faster connections between Kingston and Mandeville. The Maypen to Williamsfield segment of the highway is currently under construction and should be completed in August of this year, 2023. Further connections to bypass Spurtree Hill from Williamsfield all the way to Montego Bay will be constructed and is on the timeline to be completed by the end of the 2020s decade. 
So, Dr. Curious, we are at a different part of Mandeville now. What do you call oh, this? Oh, yes, right child. Now? This is called the Nashville Subdivision. Ah, Nashville Subdivision. Okay, <laughs> oh, yes. This is the, like, the largest bus terminus in all of Mandeville, all of Manchester, and all of Central Jamaica. Um, in fact, a matter of fact, uh, Mandeville is the main commercial and transportation hub in this part of the island. So, you'd have like um, all the connections from Maypen, from Santa Cruz, from Black River, from Christiana, everything would come into this one central location for transportation. So this is where if you're traveling, say traveling from Maypen and you want to get to Montego Bay, you will have to connect here first before getting to Montego Bay. So this is like the central ah, hub for transportation. And a matter ah. of fact, Mandeville mm -hmm. is the central, is the main okay. town in central jamaica and that central jamaica covers clarendon manchester and ah, cities so oh it is my, the main town wow. serving all three parishes oh yes oh my why? gosh I thank you dr oh my yes he knows it man he knows <laughs> it <laughs> <little> father <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, oh, well. me. That you are the student of yes, the tech yes, right yes. here. <laughs> I'm going to let you explain the institutions. Tell us about all the institutions in the middle. Yes. And make sure so you right. tell us your, about your alma mater right. too. Okay, so you come along with me and let me tell you about the institution in a great, great Mandeville. They will live to you now. <laughs> so, as you already know, Mandeville has the main campus for the Northern Caribbean University, NCU, along with NCU, we have the Church Teachers College, the Catholic College of Mandeville, another teachers college, Bethel Bible College, and a campus for Knox Community College, and also a campus for the International University of the Caribbean. Mandeville has five high schools along with one private. These are Manchester High School, my alma mater, <laughs> the Carteret College, my bros, alma mater, yep. Bishop Gibson High School for Girls. Belair High School. The Victor Dixon High School. And the St. Joseph High School, a privately owned institution. Mandeville has five primary schools and three prep schools. These are Mandeville Primary and Junior High School. Villa Road Primary and Junior High School, Hatfield Primary and Junior High School, Albion Primary, and Ebenezer Primary, along with El Instituto de Mandevilla, my past school, <laughs> Belair Early Childhood and Prep School, and the Mount Joseph Preparatory ah, School. So, Kim, um, what year you graduated from uh, Manchester High School? I was sixth class of 2017. Ah, yeah. interesting. <laughs> mm. And I left uh, El Instituto oh. in 2011. Uh -huh. 2010 <laughs> I forgot. 2011. One of those years. 2010. <laughs> I okay. forgot myself. <laughs> I think it's 2010. Ah, and as a Mandeville girl, I can bet you went to NCU. Uh, nah. <laughs> really, my girl? <laughs> we wanted her to go to NCU yeah. for her to be closer, yes, but she I wanted to be far, far away. From them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. She didn't want to be wanted to be. She wanted to be far away from. Oh, Mandeville really, Kim? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whenever them want to go out and go to them, they want to go out. That them they want to go far away. But you say you can. I was say more. <laughs> but I hope that was that wasn't the case. Well, here. she forgot the little <laughs> yes, I can say. Yeah, she, she missed me a little bit. She was still a good girl. For most, for most. Oh, okay, I was a girl, Kim. I know you're a good girl. <laughs> Indeed. Um. So. You guys know that a lot of famous people come from Oh, yes, we do. I'm, yeah, well, then. Of course, you're famous <laughs> by now, Kim. <laughs> but anyway, tell us about the real famous people that come from Mandeville. Like everybody, like, you know, probably the world. I don't know, but I don't tell you that. Okay, it is large. Why? It is large. I have to name out some and leave some, but I have to name out most of them. The famous people from Mandeville includes Devon Hyde, Cricketer, Charmaine Crooks, Former Canadian athlete, Bunny Rocks, former third world member, Chensia, dancehall artist, mm -hmm. Jacob Miller, former rapper, Heavy D, yes, Heavy D is from Mandeville, Sean Gillians, Australian cricketer, Vera Jones, sprinter Sean Francis, and boxer Oliver Wright. As well as Cecile. Oh, Cecile. Cecile, Cecile, Cecile. 
And as we say, many others. The list is so large. A lot of famous people is from Mandeville. <laughs> a lot of famous people indeed is from Mandeville. The list is long, Kim. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it will be for hours mm -hmm. if you should name out after the, um, <laughs> all of those people on the list. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Now, how should I put it about this city of Mandeville? This city has so much to offer. It is the one of the highest cities in Jamaica, the coolest, cool, cool Mandeville has so much to it. The capital for the central Jamaica region, the capital of Manchester, one of the largest in Jamaica, one of the best places, one of the most expensive cities to live, the money they are all leap, mm -hmm. which make it one of the fastest growing cities in Jamaica. Mandeville is growing at such a fast pace right now like this city will be the next Kingston in this section of the island. We can really see it. Development, progress, height, and great wealth. It's all happening right here in cool, cool Mandeville. No wonder why Mandeville is number six on our top tier list. So, thank you, Dr. Curious and his lovely daughter, Kim. Ah, the Curious is for hosting me here in your beautiful and charming ah. city, Mandeville. It oh, was a pleasure yes, being here. It was here. a pleasure hosting I've you. I've learned a lot. <laughs> We've learned a lot. <laughs> I've learned a lot, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're at another location. This is the Cecil Charlton Park. This is like oh, the yes, center the Cecil of Charlton Mandeville, Park. Right? <laughs> yes, it's in the heart of it. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. So, that's it, guys, for your Mandeville edition of Jamaican top tier cities Mandeville being number six on our list so before we had Old Arbor then we had Sav Sav and then Maypen, yes. May, then Maypen yeah. and now Mandeville off oh, the list yeah. <laughs> so stick around to see who's next and where will they fall that's it for Jamaican cities top tier on behalf of my guest Dr. Tavares Curious and his daughter Kim Manda Curious I'm Abby Kay saying peace out